Not long ago, many in Pakistan believed, Imran Khan, the cricketer-turned-politician, could overcome the odds and become the only prime minister in modern history to serve a full term. However, Khan's fortunes have suddenly changed. The military appears to have withdrawn its backing and defections within Khan's own party, the PTI, and Khan's coalition partners are using the chaos to try to get better deals. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's decision to dissolve parliament on Sunday, effectively putting an end to a no-confidence vote that was about to depose him, has put the nuclear-armed Islamic nation of 220 million people deeper into a constitutional crisis. And, along the way, Khan has drawn the United States deeper into Pakistani politics. Despite losing the support of the powerful military, coalition allies, and even some members of his own party, Khan has blamed Washington for his downfall, claiming that his independent and pro-Beijing foreign policy provoked a US bid for regime change. While the opposition has petitioned the Supreme Court, the country faces elections in 90 days. And its balancing act between Washington and Beijing would become a campaign topic in the country's first foreign policy election. What does Khan have to say about American meddling? Imran Khan was already anti-Washington before becoming Pakistan's prime minister. Speaking on several issues, Khan said, US money is destroying Pakistan. In an interview, Imran Khan said, when Barack Obama announced that American commandos had killed Osama bin Laden in Abbottabad. He said, this announcement was humiliating and national embarrassment, since it was announced by an American president, not ours. This was how the entire country of Pakistan felt, I sensed people's embarrassment and rage wherever I went. He also mentioned about that CIA director, Leon Panetta claimed that the Pakistani government was either incompetent or complicit. During an interview, Khan told The Guardian he insisted that Pakistan should distance itself from the United States in the war on terror. Pakistani cricketer turned politician, Imran Khan believes that US aid is supposedly killing his country. He also stated that Pakistan's two biggest issues are corruption and tax evasion. The US aid to Pakistan puppet government is destroying the country. We're essentially using our troops to kill our own people using American dollars. We must break apart from the United States. Khan's narrative, the US is up to something. In a flurry of interviews, speeches, and tweets throughout the weekend, he continued to blame the United States for the country's current situation. Khan's narrative is that there is an international conspiracy to depose him. And, according to him, it is America that is truly behind the no-confidence motion filed by an opposition. The drive to overthrow me is obvious US involvement in Pakistani politics, Khan stated on the eve of the no-confidence vote. He has accused U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Donald Liu of being complicit in the attempt to destabilize his administration. He claimed that the U.S. diplomat made it clear that the Joe Biden administration was dissatisfied with Pakistan's leader, particularly because of his visit to Moscow and meetings with Russia's Vladimir Putin on the eve of the invasion of Ukraine and that there would be consequences if Khan survived the vote of no confidence. He also stated that the Pakistani military is still heavily reliant on the United States and that Pakistan's generals will want to maintain some sort of good relations with the US. Pakistan's powerful army has rejected Prime Minister Imran Khan's remarks, accusing America of planning a conspiracy to destabilize the government, claiming there was no proof of foreign meddling in the country's internal affairs. Furthermore, the military has stated that the army was absolutely not involved in the events at the National Assembly. The United States has dismissed this assertion and Khan has provided no evidence to back it up. Relations between the United States and Pakistan. Khan believed he and former President Donald Trump had a good working relationship. But, under President Joe Biden, ties have cooled considerably. 
the Biden administration has accused Pakistan of allowing the Taliban to undertake attacks from safe havens in its neighbor. Khan, on the other hand, criticized Biden's administration for removing U.S. troops from neighboring Afghanistan and questioned, where are these safe havens? Khan opposed America's drone program. Pakistan's prime minister has found it convenient to present himself as a longtime opponent of America's drone program, which targeted terrorist sites in the northeast of the country, but has resulted in the deaths of hundreds of civilians in Pakistan. He emphasized the need of retaining Pakistan's sovereignty, claiming that no drone attacks have occurred in the country since he assumed office. And he stated, even if a drone attack is attempted, I will request that the Pakistan Air Force shoot the drone down. The United States has usually viewed Islamabad's double-edged strategy in the Afghan war with skepticism. Meanwhile, residents have become more anti-Western as a result of US military efforts, which are seen as a violation of Pakistan's sovereignty. General Baj's statement on the Russian-Ukraine conflict was also different from the stance adopted by the PTI government. While PM Imran stated that Pakistan would not support any country in a war, but it would take a step forward in supporting everyone wishing for peace. He also stated that Pakistan will maintain its neutrality. On the other hand, Pakistani army chief expressed grave alarm about the Russian invasion he also stated categorically that Russian aggression against a smaller country could not be tolerated. Although the US was once Pakistan's most significant ally, but the relationship has devolved into a transactional one. After arming and supporting Pakistan as an Islamic bulwark against the Soviet Union in the 1950s and 1960s and then financing, it is a base for its proxy war against the Red Army in Afghanistan in the 1980s, the US eventually sanctioned and isolated Pakistan in the 1990s. However, it is fair to assume that relations with the United States are strained at the highest levels of government. Prime Minister Khan described relations with the US as awful in a 2021 interview.